Okay, now to continue our inspirational story series, we are joined by Anne Gaze, founder and CEO of Campus Link, whose workshops are changing the landscape of education in New Zealand with the theories and tools to provide an equal playing field for all students. Let's welcome to that Harvey Norman Lounge, Anne Gaze. Yes, lovely to have you, Anne. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, thanks, Mike, thanks, lovely Mike. to have you here. First up, tell me what inspired you to start Campus Link? Uh, just demand. I have a lot of children, and my um, oldest, who's now 22, had just come back from Europe. We'd lived in Europe for about 10 years, and he took on the International Baccalaureate pathway. Now, that is a very robust, and it's quite a brutal pathway. Mm -hmm. You have to pass your six subjects. If you don't pass your six, you don't get your diploma. So he had two um, teachers that weren't up to par, and the entire of the classes, both classes, were failing. The other four were good, but by failing just two, two cl um, courses, he was actually going to fail his diploma. So I sent him back to Europe. There he was uh, tutored on a, a very intensive three-day processing, step by step through the syllabus by the examiners. He came back absolutely pumped and absolutely nailed the subjects. All his friends were just gutted. They didn't have a mother who knew about it. They also didn't have the finances. Mm. So I turned to them and thought, it's not right. You all must have the availability. You should have the availability to flip your grades and to actually have the tools to succeed. So I brought the model in to New Zealand and brought the examiners in, into New Zealand initially, and that was a huge um, dent in my husband's pocket. <laughs> and when that was happening, there was just so much demand, I had to find sustainability. So I found the kids who had already passed their exams, both in NCA, Cambridge, and IB, and utilised them the following year. Now, they were vastly different in the financial scale. They were only $20 an hour, and they were absolutely passionate. Right. Plus, they were great in delivering their top and favourite subject. So two days or three days, step by step through the syllabus, it's not rocket science. So what I do is I harness, I think, New Zealand's, if not the globe's, greatest resource in education, and they are completely captive in universities for three to eight years, mm -hmm. and nobody touches them except me. Yeah. And instead of the, so what, what do you think New Zealand's education system is failing at, at the moment? The, the cognitive development of our brain is not at all addressed in our schools. Yet it is in medicine, it's in science. Right. So that is where I've moved into, and that's my most latest and biggest projects. Mm -hmm. And that came about from the journey for me was having these tutoring programs. They're a five to one ratio. They were in multiple coast schools throughout Auckland and down Waikato and Northland. When a lot of my top tutors, and I only take the top, they're the sort of like the five to 10% that actually have aced their subjects. Mm -hmm. It's the premier scholars, it's the children in IB, they get 40 to 45. They would come to me and say, well, Johnny would actually be able to run this um, economics class, but he's failing the past papers we're giving him. So that was too prevalent for me to not notice that there was a really big issue here. If this child here was supposedly great at the subject but wasn't passing his exams, how is he coping in a 30 to 1 in his classroom? And that took me in the journey on, into the learning support arena in our country. Because mm. what, what surprises me, Anne, is the fact that you did it for your boys but then you wanted to share it for everybody else. So what makes you want to care so much about everybody else's children? Oh, OK. Um, Someone's got to. <laughs> <laughs> I came from a very um, deprived background and I sort of clawed myself out of it, but uh, it, you ne it never leaves you. And so here I, here I have my children who are um, academically able, they've been blessed with a good brain, good athletic genes, they, they go to private schools, they have everything they want. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't get lost to me at all that they are very, very privileged. Right. So for everything that I can give my children, I see this huge mountain of children back there who haven't even got one of those that brilliant. I've just okay. said to you. Yeah, brilliant. So what are the long-term goals then for you? Um, the neuroplasticity side. The journey that I've gone from is from the tutoring side into I brought the Aerosmith program into the country. I got in touch with the Centre for Brain Research and with funding from the Kelleher Trust and the Perpetual Guardian Trust, they um, supported me in bringing in a gentleman named Dr David Murio from um, Princeton University. He's designed a cognitive program for all children at no cost to all schools in New Zealand, and that launches next October. Oh, that Brilliant. sounds exciting. Yeah. Um, I could talk to you for a long, longer about this, having That's children okay. in the school system myself, <laughs> but we have run out of time. I thank you so much for coming in. Yes. Yeah, no thank problem. you. To see thank more you. from Anne and Campus Link, you can head to the website on screen right now.